This dude really just dropped a whole new model on a Saturday. Like who does that? But hey, looks like my tweet yesterday was spoken into existence because Llama 4 is officially here. Huge props to the meta AI team as well as Zuck for releasing such a groundbreaking list of models. We don't have just one model released, we have three massive models. First being Llama 4 Scoot. This is a 17 billion active parameter model with 16 experts and a record breaking 10 million token context window. This is something that outperforms Gemma 3, you have Gemini 2.0 flashlight, and Mistral 3.1 across multiple benchmarks across the board. Secondly, we have Llama 4 Maverick with the same 17 billion active parameter model but with 128 experts and it's crushing image grounding which is beating GPT-4 Omni and Gemini 2.0 flash. It matches DeepSeek V3 in reasoning and coding with half its size. Oh, and it's killing it on Ella Marina with an ELO score of 1400. Then lastly, we have Llama 4 Behemoth. This is something that's still in training but already outpacing GPT 4.5, Claude 3.7 Sonnet, and Gemini 2.0 Pro on STEM benchmarks. It's the powerhouse behind the other two. Now these models are giants and they're dominating on multiple benchmarks. Now what I want to highlight right now is Llama 4 Scoot. This has a 10 million token context window, which is something that could potentially get rid of RAG because it's going to enable tasks like multi-document summarization and reasoning over large code bases or large amounts of text due to its long context. It's built with a new iRope architecture, which is interleaved with attention layers and it has these rotary embeddings which excels at long context tasks so it shows strong retrieval and code performance which is going to be exceptionally well in terms of code generation and retrieving long context now the llama 4 maverick is exactly the same thing but with more experts and you can see that it is Something that could be a great alternative to Gemini 2.0 Flash. It is a bit more expensive, but it is a little bit better in terms of performance in all of these different categories from image reasoning all the way to image understanding, coding, as well as reasoning and knowledge. The Scoot and the Maverick models are the first open weight natively multimodal large language models from Meta which uses early fusion to integrate text and vision seamlessly. Both of these models use mixture of experts as the architecture where each tokens activate only a small subset of parameters, which is going to improve efficiency. It is something that fits a single H100 GPU and the Maverick on the other hand is something that fits a single H100 host, which is going to make them easier to deploy at large scales. This is just a reference to Llama 4 Behemoth with its instruction tune benchmarks. You can see how exceptional it is in terms of all the performance of coding benchmarks all the way to multilingual. And you can see that it outperforms Cloud 3.7 Sonnet as well as Gemini 2.0 Pro. It'd be interesting to see how it would perform against the new Gemini 2.5 Pro. Now, if you're looking to get started, you can easily go ahead over to llama.com and download these models if you somehow have the requirements to host it locally. And then you can also start accessing it through Hugging Face or Meta AI's chatbot where you can start conversing with it over here. You can also get a free API through Open Router where you can use Llama 4 Maverick completely for free as well as Scoot, which is something that I would recommend using for coding tasks. So let's get started. What we're going to do is first start off by testing this model across multiple benchmarks from coding all the way to math. We're going to go ahead and send in this prompt to create a front end and you can see how quick this model is. It has really great response time and you can see it is rapidly going ahead and generating the front end for us with the Scoot model. And just look at that. This is what the Scoot model was capable of generating and this is where I can go ahead and type in something like YouTube video. I should have said create YouTube video but we can go ahead and click add and it actually created a functional drag and drop UI. It's not perfect, but it does get the job done, I guess. But overall, this is a functional uh, front end for a sticky note app, and I'm pretty impressed to see the output. So let's go back here and give this a pass. 
Next up, we're gonna go ahead and create the game of life, Conway's game of life in Python. And this is essentially a prompt that assesses algorithmic implementation, state transition logic, as well as terminal based visualization. So let's see what this model is capable of generating. I'm gonna go ahead and take this code locally and we're gonna open the Python file up. So I've copied the code and I have now pasted it in within VS Code, but let's go ahead and click play to see what it was capable of generating. And there we go. We actually have a simulation outputted and I am definitely uh, happy to see that it was capable of doing this and give this a pass. Next, we're gonna go ahead and create a butterfly with SVG code with the Maverick model. Now, this is a prompt that most models tend to fail at, but let's see if this Llama 4 Maverick model is capable of doing this. So I've copied the code from the chat room and we're gonna go over to this online SVG viewer and paste it in. And this does not look like a butterfly, but I guess it got the antenna right as well as like maybe the main body. But I'm going to go back and have maybe the scoot attempt this. So this is the Llama 4 Maverick uh, generation of an SVG butterfly. And this is what the actual generation for the scoot is. So I guess both of these models actually failed at this prompt, which is kind of surprising because I thought it would be capable of doing this. So unfortunately, this is actually a fail. Next up, we have a prompt where it states a train leaves city A at 9 a.m. traveling at 16 kilometers an hour. Another train leaves at uh, city B at 11 a.m. traveling towards city A at 90 kilometers an hour. The distance between city A and city B is 450 kilometers. At what time do these two trains meet? Show all the steps clearly. Now overall, it did generate all five steps or six steps. And this is essentially a prompt that tests algebra as well as relative motion with the time distance uh, formula. And overall, it did take the correct amount of steps to get this correct answer, which is 1.12 p.m. And we can go back into the sheet and give this a pass. The next prompt is a coding and math prompt, which is focusing on prime and Fibonacci filters. So this is where I'm asking it to write a Python function that takes a list of integers and returns a new list containing only the numbers that are either prime or Fibonacci numbers, but not both. So I'm telling it to ensure that the solution handles inputs up to a million efficiently. So this is where it's going to test different combinations, the number theory set operations. And with this code, we can see that it generated the Fibonacci numbers efficiently and stored them in a set that is easily differentiated from the prime numbers. So this is definitely a pass. So let's go back into the sheet and give this that. So next up, we're going to be sending in this prompt of a dog behind a tree, and I'm going to ask it to describe this image and then have it specify the dog breed. So in this case, it did it pretty quickly and this is with the scoot model. The dog breed is, uh, appears to be the Jack Russell Terrier. I don't know if that's actually true. Now that does look pretty accurate compared to the picture that I had attached. So that is definitely a pass and it did get a good job in terms of describing the image where the dog is standing behind the tree in a snowy forest. And this is definitely a pass in my test. Next up, we're gonna have it focus on the long context and research summary uh, reasoning. This is because this Scoot model has a 10 million token context window, and I'm trying to see how well it is in terms of explaining long context as well as its understanding with it. So let's go over and send in a large article and then have it split it up between three different sections. So there we go, and let's see what output we get. Now, this is just pretty fast in terms of the responses I get. I simply just clicked enter and I got this response back pretty quickly. And based off the provided sections, you can see the explanation for each of the three sections I have. And based off the full article, it was capable of explaining the hybrid approach for three of the different paragraphs, and it offered different solutions based off the context I gave it. Now, obviously it works better with longer context. This was pretty short still. So if you were to actually give it something longer, it would do a better job as well. Lastly, we're gonna go ahead and send in this prompt where we're saying that a detective is investigating a case knowing the five suspects, which is Alice. And then we have Ben, we have Carla, David, and Eva. So all f five of these guys are stating different things where one says something where one person is guilty or the other person says someone else didn't do it and etc. But essentially, this is where I'm going to have it list out all the different statements. It's a prompt that focuses on logical problem solving as well as seeing if it's capable of going through all the combinations, which it does seem to do in this case. 
and it does give me the correct answer with multiple steps which is definitely great to see and it does get the correct answer which is david who is guilty and it also states that only ben is telling the truth where carla is actually lying which leads to the consistent scenario where everyone else is lying only one person where david is actually guilty so this is definitely deemed a pass overall i think it did a great job there's still some work in terms of coding there is also some work that needs to be done in terms of processing as well as problem solving but overall it did pretty remarkable and it's a great alternative to something like gemini 2.0 flash with the maverick model and it's going to be great to use the new scoot model for stuff like having it process long documents as well as working with long context code to understand your overall code base but overall i am really excited to see llama 4 working on launching such a great three series of models i'm still looking forward to llama 4 behemoth which is going to be insane where it can compete against cloud 3.7 sonnet so this is going to be definitely exciting but with that thought guys i hope you enjoyed today's video got some sort of value out of it i'll leave all these links in the description below make sure you subscribe to the new channel follow me on the newsletter patreon to join our private discord twitter to stay up to date with the daily ai news and lastly make sure you guys subscribe make sure you turn on the notification bell like this video and please take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you will truly benefit from but with that thought guys have an amazing day spread positivity and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas